Well, when I arrived in 1990, the Melbourne University Department of Ophthalmology had five people in it, and I was the sixth, and we were tiny. And obviously there was huge potential, and we needed to somehow harness that potential and grow. The importance of ophthalmology, the academic values, the research capacity. And so I thought, well, let's pull together the hospital, the profession, the college, the associations of and for the blind, bring them together with the university in a new entity, which we're just going to call the Centre for Eye Research. When we started off at CIRA, we really built a, a, a very strong reputation in population and public health research. When I first started, the initial goal was to bring in some strength in the laboratory-based research and basic sciences. Patient care and research are not two separate things. The circumstances uh, in which we work at CIRA provides us with the best um, framework to work with scientists and physicians to provide the best overall package of care, education, intervention for the patient. The thing that research also does is that it gives us the opportunity of actually touching so many more lives because if you find a better way of treating a condition, once you multiply that by changing how we treat it worldwide or nationwide, that's potentially millions more people than we could, you know, one individual could possibly ever do. The treatment that I've been given is really, really world class. I could not wish for anything better from a situation where I had no vision, no vision in my right eye. I can now see well again, and uh, without the research, of course, the doctors wouldn't be able to care for their patients. Being one of the world's leading eye research institutes is really a side effect of what we did. And the research that we do is to try and prevent people from losing their vision or, or for being able to do the best for people who have already got you know, significant visual loss. So the patient sits at the centre of all the research that, that, that we do. CIRA's um, really prioritised translational research and we have huge strengths that are growing in gene editing technology. Uh, we're developing a really strong presence in stem cell science, which is really exciting. I think that's the way we're going with CIRA. We're all about research that matters and makes a difference in people's lives, and so we're all prioritising that. The new technologies that are allowing us to, to image the eye and to measure uh, the, the ocular function um, is, is, is going to have a major impact on our ability to, to diagnose and, and monitor eye disease that the eye is also a useful indicator for other diseases, including uh, the d dementias, including Parkinson's disease, including cardiovascular diseases. So I think the eye is increasingly going to become uh, useful for, uh, as, as a barometer of, 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 of an individual's general health. The research uh, is not an individual thing. You don't do it by yourself in isolation. You need a team, you need collaborators, and you need a big support uh, group behind you. And that really describes what CIRA is. CIRA is a wonderful place to work in. We are surrounded by uh, fantastic colleagues, that they are medical colleagues or scientists or students or administration. It's just a wonderful place uh, to do our research. We feel encouraged. The contact with patients is extremely motivating. And I think we really want to make a difference. I feel that we really need to develop really good new um, early intervention and prevention strategies um, for my research and then that kind of approach is going to need um, policy and government to get behind to really implement that and get those strategies out into the population. I'd like to see CIRA continuing to play a major role in eye research internationally, but, but above all I'd like to see CIRA have a tangible impact on combating eye disease. To be able to stay in 10 years time, yes we did that and we were stopping people from losing their vision because we did some great research. That's what I'd like to see in the next 10 years. By changing sight, they certainly do change lives and I'm sure in the future they're going to achieve more and I wish them every, every success. <laughs>